What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and we are at Holy Cross City in Colorado. Um, six of us made it up here in a variety of built rigs and this is by far the toughest trail that I have ever done in Colorado. It was it was a doozy. That video will be coming out after this one so be sure to hit that subscribe button. But while we're up here I thought I would give you a walk around of each of the rigs because they're all built very differently. We're on a an eight day overlanding trip through Colorado so we are fully kitted out to live out of our rigs for that period of time stopping occasionally to you know replenish water that sort of thing. Um, but I thought I'd give you a quick just a quick walk around. I'm gonna try to do this in just in just one take. So here we go. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the Moore Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for overland adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade portable awning. All right, of course you know Sully, if you've been watching the channel for a while, Sully and Boo are mine and my wife's, JT and JLU. Um, both are running Clayton lifts. Uh, I've got the three and a half inch premium on Sully. We've got the two and a half inch Overland kit on Boo. Both running uh, Milestar Patagonia MT-02s in the 38, 13, 50, 17 size. And these tires have performed incredible today. I just recently got the Reliant Fabrication um, front bumper and love how it, how it looks. Uh, both me and my wife are running the open road four wheel drive Panther Series 2 winches. I've got a 13,000 pound. She's got a 9,500 pound on hers. And then I've got the this new uh, metalless um, groove fair lead from uh, uh, from Yankum, Yankum.com. And got to use that today for the first time and it did incredibly well. My wife is running a fishbone off-road front bumper. Uh, KC Gravity lights up front. KC uh, Slim lights up top. She's got the rugged ridge, low profile snorkel mount, rhino rack uh, platform backbone system. We've got the pack rack system on the side there. I'm running the gravity KC Gravity Pro 6 light bar up here. Um, AEV snorkel over here on this side. Let's walk around here. Ace sliders to go in to go with the uh, Rubicon rock rails. Extrusion overlay bed rack with some mini traction boards, little Pelican case. A uh, little platform I built in here. Love this thing because I've got doors that slide up to gain access to my gear. That's our Dometic toilet. Global Road Outdoors tent. Sidekick one. Ice Co. VL75 Pro in the back. Dual zone on the Global Road Outdoor slide. 230 totes. Just normal water bottles. Five pan propane tank. Got a roto packs up there. And just got this new armadillo bag it's got three gallons of gas in it uh haven't needed the fuel yet but so far it's doing really well I mean, i've been on some pretty crazy trails so far and no leaks no smell no nothing so pretty impressed with that um i am running a brand new set of shocks you can't see them very well let me go up here uh from elka there we go from elka suspensions the remote reservoir shocks and i have this is their first trip on these things and i am falling in love with them the ability to adjust them uh, to the ride and the terrain has been phenomenal. Let's see, what's Kara got over here in the back? She's pretty minimalist here. Uh, she's got the water port here on the pack racks. Got the uh, Ostrich Wing Junior awning on the side. And she is, uh, she's just packed up all of her stuff in the back. Uh, X cargo bags. Kara's staying out of the mosquitoes right now. Fire extinguisher mount. This is just her clothes and chair and stuff just to keep it dusty. The Gladiator is serving as the pack mule duty on this trip. Over here, we have got John's 2018 JLU Rubicon. What lift you got on this, John? 
So started with a two and a half inch Rubicon Express. Then I put rock crawler springs on it. Then also rock crawler control arms. Also do a Terraflex Terra half inch uh, spacer lift on it too. So it's about a three inch lift right now. <laughs> Yep. And you're running 37 inch, 37 inch uh, Maxis, yeah, Maxis razors, razors, MTs, yeah. yeah. What uh, what rock rail are you running? Rock rails is the Rusty's rock rail. I like it because it's kind of nice and tight and kind of gets good. out of the way. And so, yeah. It's... You're also running the Regular Ridge Snorkel with a high mount. Yep, and I got the 360 rigids on my A-pillars. I got the American Adventure Labs Highline Fender Chop Kit along with the Ender Fender itself. I got the Rusty's. Uh, tie rod and drag link upgrade also recently got uh rcv axles as well oh and so, yeah and you I, haven't had any binding today when you've been no, turning on these obstacles have you not at all and so that's pretty cool and that's the moto belt front bumper moto belt crusher series front and rear bumper with a smitty and of course i got the factor 50 line i got the f-link there and yeah and it's very uh, nice this more, this more slim but this uh, jeep is I like to kind of, I love more of a is, rock is lander. Rock, yeah, yeah, rock lander, yeah. rock crawler, goes yeah, over landing, yeah, yeah. very minimalist in the back. Oh, what uh, what rock rails do you have? Those are the um, rock hard 4x4. Rock hard 4x4, yeah. And then forgot I have the, the Rusty's rear fascia. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Like I said, this is one taker. <laughs> yep, Rusty's rear fascia, uh, rest, the delete kit from Fishbone. So she is not slamming down on her bumper at all. Uh, show me the back here because yep. you are not a, a heavy overlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all super clean and it's actually just a Smitty built uh, rear uh, tire carry, which I like though. It sandwiches in so it's nice and tight. And there's the motor belt cruiser uh, crusher. It's nice and clean and yeah. I don't get hung up like too much. The departure angle here. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of fab this up to where I can get the license plate, the camera, the license plate, and the brake light all together. <laughs> and then, in of the course. Back. I got a front yeah. runner rack right of this guy. I, I do all my cooking, and I, yeah. even though I'm a minimalist, I do my cooking for everybody. And got that's my fridge, a little Costway fridge. That's about the only two real overlanding accessories you have is the this, tailgate table and the fridge. And the fridge, I got a little, little, little black plastic <laughs> table. Little table. But that's my cooking gear. There's my pantry. There's a couple extra foods, some extra water. And then I got a gazelle tent that we sleep in if my wife's going. If it's just me, we'll do uh, like I got a camera hammock set up. And then so, yeah, and a little pop up tent. But yeah kind of lightweight so it does well in the trails well just goes to show you you don't have to have all the stuff to to overland effectively being john lives very comfortably very minimalist um, with his setup but the exact opposite of john is james's jeep uh, he is fully decked out on the inside with American Adventure Labs drawer systems and stuff he's got kind of a hybrid lift he started out with a two and a half inch um, what is it? Two and a half inch rock crawler lift, but now has three and a half inch Clayton springs in the rear, Clayton control arms underneath it, running 37 inch Goodyear um, Mud Terrain KM3s, Fox 2.0 shocks, but it's the it's the back of James's rig that is just beautiful. Fully decked out American Adventure Labs drawer system that he customized. He had this powder coated to match uh, his kind of blue paint scheme, the topo lines. I mean, he is super, super organized. And it, uh, it pays off for him, because when we get to camp, everything is just ready to go. The American Adventure Labs table, the American Adventure Labs uh, spare tire carrier rack that he's got a five pound propane tank, roto packs, the toilet up there, traction boards on the front, trasheroo, that uh, AAL, rack is just really handy yeah i mean to add extra storage and space for some of that stuff that you don't want All inside your rig yeah they want outside it's uh quite nice he's also got a global road outdoor sidekick tent but sidekick two which is a little bigger than mine it's a queen size bed instead of a full rhino rack um, backbone system inside uh lod front bumper smitty built winch and but what you don't see Tell us what's under the Jeep. Yeah, so I've got uh, Rubicon axles, uh, takeoff axles. So I've got uh, lockers front and rear. Um, you know it is a Sahara. It's, we call it the Sahara Con because it's got, it's fully locked. The only thing he doesn't have is the manual sway bar, is the electric sway bar disconnects. He's still got to go manual. He's got the Quake Highline Fender Chop Kit. 
And uh, what what inner fender liners do you have? Uh, those are skull crushers. Skull crushers. Okay. And his Jeep's name is Mjolnir, so he's got the Mjolnir hammer graphic in there. Uh, beautiful design. We love this Jeep. Up next, we've got Robert's new Rubicon. This is a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Extreme Recon package. Uh, actually, same recon, same package that Kara has on hers. I have my, my Jeep representative to talk about what's going on with the Jeep because I don't know anything. Robert actually has two rigs up here because uh, the Forerunner is his, he, is his too. We've done a full walk around on it, and I don't think it's changed much since the walk around, so we'll hit that quickly. But we haven't really shown off the Jeep. Uh, Icon lift, is that right? No. Nope. No? No. So Robert's running the Terraflex CT4 uh, lift kit with the Alpine IR control arms um, and the 3.3 Falcon mm -hmm. shocks. Which are adjustable, and so far he's loving them. Oh yeah, you've got the Icon bumpers, that's what it is. Icon bumpers. Um, and this is a uh, Warren Z on 10 inch winch. And then we got the adjustable steering stabilizer. What What is that one, Ben? That's the Falcon 2.2. Falcon stabilizer. stabilizer. Is it supposed to have a bend in it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to have the bend in it. Well, it does now. Uh, yeah, you're steering uh, a <laughs> stabilizer. <laughs> oh, we just found that out. Thanks, Holy Cross. Uh, Robert is also running the Rugged Ridge uh, snorkel with the high mount. And this is, I mean, this is his rock crawler. The Forerunner is his overlanding rig. So he's keeping this a pretty mild build. He's off. What, what rack do you have on the back here to hold your rotor packs? What, what strap system is that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, James, what straps do I have? I think it's the Rock Slide Engineering. Oh, yeah, the Rock Slide, rock slide Engineering. engineering. Uh, tra last U.S. bag. Trash a roo here. Can open it up the the icon. Rear bumper. And he's got the tailgater table, which is super nice. How does that come down? There, there. There we go. Tailgater table, which is super nice. And that in the set power RV45D fridge. That's about the only thing overlandy that's on this thing. He's also keeping it nice and simple with uh gazelle tent for he and his wife. And then all the stuff packed up in here. Do you, have, do you even have food in here? Or is is John doing all the, the no, food duties? No, we got a little bit of food yeah, in there. Yeah, a little bit of food in there. Okay. And then moving on to the Forerunner. I think this is last but not least because this thing is just a beast. It has conquered all the trails that we've been doing in our Jeeps. It has made it. It's done 23 Jeep Badger Monarch trails now. And it has uh, got the Dobinson drawer system in there, ARB slide. That, that's like the ARB fridge, my bad. And that slides out too. ARB fridge, that slides out. Uh, Molly panels in here. Uh, rack up there. What uh, what rear bumpers are these? Um, this is the Expedition 1 rear bumper, and I got the C4 Fab front bumper. Expedition 1 with dual swing outs for fuel. Spare tire. He's running 35-inch BFG mud terrains on this. Uh, Toyo Tech sliders. Got a new mark on it for Holy Cross Trail. Uh, got a new new memory there. Let's go right here to the front. Uh, TMJ Air Tech snorkel, which I love the way that fits nice and tight up on the body lines there. Beautiful front end on this Forerunner. And that's your uh, rebuilt Warren winch in there. Oh, that's my old winch. Yep. yep. Awesome. Use it a couple times today. And then the roof nest falcon rooftop tent and what are the lights um i don't know <laughs> robert doesn't even know what he has baja designs there you, there go. you go baja designs lights on it uh just an incredible forerunner and you did a whole walk around i did there's an entire video walk around on this i'll put the link in the description for this one uh, but yeah so all six of these rigs made it up here to Holy Cross and have been, just been doing fantastic. The mosquitoes are bad right now. So uh, any questions you have, leave them in the comments. Um, you, you know, there's no one right formula for building, you know, a rig that can do this type of thing. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because this adventure will be coming out after this video. Um, and so you'll get to see what all these rigs are doing, how they fare on the trails, who's had to winch, who hasn't, who's uh, sustained body damage, 
who hasn't as a little, little teaser there on the forerunner but thanks so much for watching if you would like subscribe um check out our patreon if you want to um follow along in our adventures get access to all of our gps data um I told you this was going to be one take and we're at like 12,000 feet and i'm out of breath right now um check out our patreon for gps data and special content that we do uh discounts for merchandise and for our merchandise go to shop overlandapparel.com um we're gonna go down the mountain now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one